Won't you let me know? Oh, 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 where to go? Where to go? So, guys, we at the hidden gem of the West Coast, Asa Fontaine, with the iconic blowhole in the back. Alistair, it's called Blast Hut. Blast Hut? Ah, uh, boys, behave yourselves now. Let's go and visit this town. Okay, so, Ben, hi. Um, I believe that you're involved with the nature side of Asa Fontaine. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Yeah, we are a group of voluntary residents in Asa Fontaine and uh, we've started a conservancy. We aim to protect existing you know, flora and flora and, and to promote uh, nature as it is because you know the, the best thing we can do is to not interfere too much but to actually allow nature to be what it can. Uh, we, we're driven by the opportunity that we have to live in a wonderful environment. It's part of the heritage we hand over to our kids and our families and we want to make the best of it and you know we want to invite people to come and enjoy it with us and to just appreciate the beauty of what we've been given well ben wandering around here just a short while it is evident that you guys are passionate about what you are doing so well done thank you yeah it's 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 passion driven and i think and there's no there's no other incentive but to appreciate the beauty oh you let me know oh 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 nature walk <laughs> showing us all the conservation yeah almost two kilometers i yeah, don't need to go to gym felt like 20. <laughs> the island behind us what yes. island is that this is called uh scarpen island which scarpen is the island. dutch for sheep right. scarpen island and it just refers back to when the old farmers you know they used to come here for their holidays and they used to bring their Christmas dinner, the sheep along the line, <laughs> oh, and they would keep man. them on the island with, wow. because oh, it was shame. safe yeah. from from jackal and, and all sorts of things. Uh. And uh, because they called it Scarpen Island, because at high tide, this closes up with water, sure, and then it's it's protected, and then the, the sheep are safe. Yeah? So, Thank you so awesome. much oh, no, for your time. It's a pleasure. It was lovely meeting you guys. Next time we do the comrades together. Hi, it's so wonderful to meet you and I can just imagine with this incredible view that you have here where you get your inspiration from in your pottery studio. Absolutely. Can you tell me a little bit about what you do here? Well, I'm mostly a pottery teacher, so I teach from beginning. Um, I have beginners to advanced um, students in my class. I do adult and children classes and I start people from scratch, learning to do pinch parts, foil parts going on to doing real work. Yeah, during the holidays my studio becomes a kitchen and I teach children how to cook. And tell me your favourite colour. Well, any colour is good <laughs> as long as it's blue. <laughs> so Gretchen, show me how you throw your clay. <laughs> so there's obviously a technique to this. It takes a bit of practice, um, but it's also, you know, like riding a bicycle. <laughs> what a ride! I'm loving this. Oh, dear, that was something else. Seeing the sights and sounds of Azenfontein <laughs> was Ooh. awesome. I believe you have electric bikes as well, Malani. Yes, we do. Um, that is just booked in advance, so we can get it ready for you. Good. Let's Guys. do this. Loving this. Let's go do another Let's run. Do another. Yes. Enjoy. <laughs> So folks, we're here at the oldest building in Asia Fontaine. This is the fish house. This is one of those places where they used to dry and salt the fish. On the other side of the fish house, we have the old slipway right here. This is where the boats used to come in and out until they had a proper harbor. These kilns were built for the purpose of having a binding material. So mussels and shells, as you see here, were heated up and they, to form the binding material that would be used for the houses and the buildings around here. Funny enough, these kilns were still used up till 1976. So 
salt was extracted from these pans until the middle of the last century. And this brings us to Salt, an apt name for a lovely little shop. Hi, Desna Nola. We're in your wonderful shop called Salt in Asa Fontaine. So can you tell me how you started, how you came about this idea to open this fantastically artistic shop? Absolutely. It was an idea that came because we were doing pottery. We're making all the stuff and what we do with it. So we actually started off thinking of a little gallery, pop-up gallery. Um, and then we got people involved. So we got the pottery, we got the photos going. And then we started um, incorporating other projects, people that are doing projects, um, like H18, that is also uh, empowerment. Uh, okay, so project. empowerment for women, yes. women's empowerment. empowerment. So that's so fantastic. percent of the shop is made by females, sourced by females, um, assisting females, helping them, working together with foundations, with ourselves, with the communities in Asia Fontaine. We've got a lot of people in Asia contributing yeah. as well. A um, lot of artistic people in this town, not really outlets in every product. We've got a lot of products that are very natural, the felt, the wools, 100%, the linens. Um, so we would like to incorporate those kind of products in our shop. And everything is handmade. And I see it's, handmade. It's, most, most there's, there's, it it's incredible, yes. the, the different artists and designs. And, then, and, and it is for me, coming in here was almost like walking into an art gallery. It's so yeah. beautiful. And everything is, is really gorgeous. <laughs> and she's going to tell us a little bit about what she does with her wine and food pairing. We do a very, very special menu for you. Um, the menu can be chosen by yourselves or we would actually come up and make up a menu for you. And the whole idea is that we actually basically pair this to the wines from the Swapland and the West Coast. At Gerda's table, we're really, really trying to basically um, match all the wines to our food and to also source here on the on the west coast but the whole thing about Gaida's table is that we use all this fresh produce and trying to produce a wonderful menu um, for our clients so for a really yeah. regional true experience it's really a wonderful idea to come and have a dinner with you and to experience some fantastic wines from the Swatland area it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you Dion, oh, I made it. You made it. Hey, it looks like I'm more fit than you guys. I just did the circle, no problem. What happened to Kim? Well, Kim's coming. coming. Hey, Kim's coming in. Oh, oh, Kim's cheating. That's cheating. But right, Kim, what do you Hi, think? Guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is amazing. We're in the middle of winter, and look at the sun. Awesome, awesome. You know, you too can come and visit Asa Fontaine. Find your way here and enjoy what this place has to offer. And don't forget to go round and round in the labyrinth. Oh, 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 oh. Where to go? Where to go? I've been hanging south these walls now for a day. I love the road and I love the stars. Oh. Thank you for journeying with us to Asa Fontaine. Please like, subscribe and ring that notification bell.